Welcome to Distant Lightning. So I'm going to re just talk about games two through four of the Eastern Conference Finals are Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, won games two and four. They dropped game three, but they lead the series three to one. So we're going to talk about the good, the less than good, and I don't know if I can pick studs of the games, but I certainly could point some out. And so let's get started. The good. There's a lot of good stuff happening. Uh, but item number one, the Lightning continue to look like a cup contending team. Even in games three loss, they played hard. They played without Braden Point. And I mean, it was a one goal game going into the, uh, uh, till the end, right? Uh, then the Islanders got some empty net goal. End of story. A couple empty net goals. But the question remains, can the Lightning sustain their performance without Braden Point? I don't know. The good number two, Stamco sighting. Stamkos, to just today, he was uh, sighted at practice. He wasn't practicing with others, but he had a normal jersey on, and he was skating around. So will he make an appearance in the Islanders series or in the Cup Final series, are they going to throw him out there like at the end of the third period in a winning final game in the, in the Cup series? I don't know. We'll have to see. But if we don't have Braden Point, we really could use Steven Stamkos to, to backfill. Good thing number three, grit. A big thank you to BB because his player acquisitions at the end of the regular season, uh, they're really paying off in spades. Our sandpaper line with Goodrow, Gord, and Blake Coleman. I mean, the other teams, every line on the other teams fear these guys. They create turnovers. They're hustling. They're grinding. They're everywhere the other team doesn't want them to be. And they score. Did you guys see Blake Coleman's uh, hustle goal? Uh, there was a loose puck by Yanni Gord. Got thrown all the way up ice. He went hustling. He was able to gather it in really at the last second. I mean, he ran out of room in front of the goaltender. Just at the last second, made a beautiful play. A little deke, left, right, backhand goal in the net. Uh, I mean, sometimes I confuse him with Braden Point on the ice. They both kind of have the same length hair, same color hair, same kind of beard from a distance. And they've got a two, right, on their jersey. And when they're turned just right, really, Blake Coleman is like Braden Point light to me. Uh, really good stuff. Also, you know, uh, Braden Point's line there with Andre Palat and Nikita Kucherov. All right, we know Point is awesome, and he goes out there. And he's he does fantastic. But how about Andre Palat? Andre Palat is like in beast mode out there every game. He's utterly consistent. He's digging the puck out from the boards. He's hustling. He's grinding. He's hitting really hard. And he gets right back on his skates and does it again. This guy is like the Energizer, Energizer Bunny on skates. And it's fantastic to see. It's so much fun watching Palat play. And he's even scoring. I mean, he's not just uh, creating plays, which he's really good at. He's even scoring and getting shots on net. So he's pressuring the other goalie, making the other goalie sweat. Now, uh, Kucherov obviously is elite. He's tied with point for most points on the team right now at 25. And I'm even seeing him throw his body at players. He's seeing him on the boards. He just throws himself right in there. Uh, the one thing I... You know, see both Kucherov. I really wish he could control his temper a little bit because it's, you know, these cheap shots aren't earning him any friends. We'll just put it that way. Okay, moving on to the less than good. Really, there's only one major one here, and that's that Braden Point might be injured. He missed game three. Nobody knew why. Uh, then last game, he kind of got rubbed out on the boards, and his, his, one of his legs, I think it was his left leg, was, was ahead. Looked like a running stride, even though he was just stuck up against the boards. And he dropped right down his knees. And I saw the replay, and he winced hard. It's one of those kind of like, mm, okay, one of those like, I'm in great pain winces. And he went real slow back to his bench. Nobody wants to see that with Braden Point. Um, he ended up not playing the last eight minutes of game four. And the problem with that is he's the goal-scoring leader on the team with nine goals. And I already mentioned he's tied with Kucherov for most points at 25. I don't know if we can win the Cup without Braden Point. I really don't. Um, and the question is, can we even finish off the Islanders without him? That's debatable. I mean, the one game we didn't have Braden Point, 
we lost. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. All right. Looking ahead, Game 5 is tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern. We have a chance, as the Lightning, to put away the Islanders in advance to the Stanley Cup Final. And I believe the last time we were here, we faced off against the Blackhawks, I don't know, like five, six, seven years ago. It's, time has flown. So, um, but I really believe it's our cup to lose, okay? Yes, I'm fully biased, but really, this Lightning team is steamrolling everybody. I've already talked about our depth. We have forward depth coming out our ears. This sandpaper line, you know, other teams start their starters, you know, their points earners at the start of games. Not us. I mean, we're basically putting our third line out there. Uh, Gord, Goodrow, and Coleman. And they grind and wear out the other team. And then we throw in our elite line of uh, Point, Kucherov, Palat to just, again, further tire out the team. I'm seeing very tired opponents as we get deeper into these playoff series. Again, real props to the Columbus Blue Jackets. I mean, still, they've played us the best. I mean, they played really tight, close games against us. And not even the Bruins did that, who were number one in the regular season. Okay, so if we beat the Islanders, who will we face in the Stanley Cup Final? Is it going to be Bishop in the Dallas Stars? I still have a soft spot for Ben Bishop. I used to love watching games, and they would play the Big Ben theme, you know, do-do-do-do, do-do-do-do, every time he made, like, a big save. And uh, it was it was great to watch him. He was fantastic for us. But when he moved to the Stars, or was it the uh, L.A. Kings for a short time, the one game he played against us, we lit him up like six zip. Like, we crushed him. So I feel like he's got a little psychological scarring there playing against his old Lightning team. Because if I recall correctly, he really didn't want to get traded. He wanted to stay in Tampa. Maybe he thought he could ride out his career. Uh, but he got traded. So uh, in Vassy, you know, they say the student might meet the teacher, right, in the Stanley Cup final. We'll see. Or will we face Jonathan Marcheseau and the Flower with the Vegas Golden Knights? Another very strong, very dynamic team. Uh, they move fast. So they're maybe the most Tampa-like of those two. I think maybe Dallas is a little more uh, of a physical team. I, I have a very poor, I have like very poor knowledge of the Western Conference team, so that's my really loose and fast opinion. But we'll see who we face. One way or another, we're facing major former Lightning players. Uh, that are linchpins on their te respective teams in a lot of ways. Uh, anyway, so we'll we'll kind of see what's going to happen there. Thanks for watching, and please tap the like button if you like this video. Consider subscribing so these videos show up in your feed, especially if you're a Lightning fan. There aren't too many vlogs out there on the Lightning, and I'm hoping to fill a void with this one. We'll see you next time on Distant Lightning.